Hello Internet! I have not seen you on this channel for a while. In all fairness, it was because that Denver Comic Con was coming up, I've started the new 40 hour a week job, and I just tried to do all the things, and it did not work, and YouTube suffered for it. Anyways, I went to Denver Comic Con for the first time. It was this last weekend. It went from Saturday, Sunday, and then Monday on Memorial Day, and this is my media pass thanks to Brody. She was so kind and lovely to allow me to be her second shooter slash content snagger for her website. Maybe just one more until I have a button from her saying just one more chapter as she knows I am a book lion. And I have so much footage from this weekend in my camera right now is a 64 something. Yeah, a 64 gig is in my camera right now and I filled up about half of it over the course of three days. So there's so much footage to go through but I will try to put all of the pictures, stills that I took up on my Facebook page, but I want to try to start rolling out all the DCC stuff over the next weekend and the week and so forth because hola! However, for this video, as you can see from the title, I wanted to do a little mini haul from DCC, so here are the things. First, I'm going to start off with this gift from Carrie. It was so cute. She was telling me a few weeks prior that she had something for me and that she couldn't wait to give it to me, and then she told me when she saw me, I just, I can't wait to tell you what it is, and it was the bobblehead Hawkeye pop figure. Oh my gosh, she won it at the comic book day and didn't really care for it as much as she knew I would love and it's a true bobblehead. It's so great. It's out of the box because I don't really care about being in the box. I want to be able to see my little guys. Before this I had two versions of Daenerys as well as the little mini keychain of Danny. I have been debating on collecting more because when I first saw these like two, three years ago, I was like, oh, those are little like soulless, creepy eyes. But they have totally grown on me and the amount of types of characters that Pop has created are so expansive that I just can't help myself. So I think I'm not necessarily going to collect the collections, but I am going to collect my characters that I have um, a nice soft place in my heart for. So starting with Bubblehead Hawkeye. With that we'll go into what I actually bought at Comic-Con and I've decided since I'm going to collect pop figures I'm going to try to only buy them at conventions unless there's one that is discontinued and I will never ever find it unless I get it on the internet. However, the first one I picked up at Denver Comic-Con was Astrid. So I'm very excited to get her and that also includes that I have pop vinyl figures of two of my cosplays. I am working on a cosplay of Astrid from the first How to Train Your Dragon movie and you know that if you follow me on my social media, especially Instagram because I've been posting my cosplay progress there. And I could not get Astrid without getting not Stormfly but Toothless. Toothless is adorable and I might need to find one of Danny's dragons to go with him. I know I should get Stormfly to go next to Astrid, but I just really love Toothless so much, so I got Toothless. And then when we talk about pop characters that really started to make me want to collect outside of Danny, not only was there Hawkeye, but there was Dancing Groot. And then if you look under here, he is also a bobblehead, so that is even better than what I was expecting. Oh, baby Groot, so precious, so precious. So the next stipulation I put on myself for spending at the con is there was no prints. I still need to buy frames for all of the prints that I moved from Nashville to Colorado, so no prints, unless they were easy, small, and standard size. And when I saw this one, I knew I had to get it. She has a whole bunch of fun cat, nerdy, uh, dressed, cats dressed up as nerdy characters or characters drawn as cats. I'm not really sure which way is which, but when I saw this TARDIS with a tiny little silhouette of a cat, I knew I had to get it. It was just so beautiful. So it's mine now. So that is it. Uh, those three pop vinyls in this are the only things I purchased at Denver Comic Con, but it's not the only thing that I got. Flashing back to Carrie, she went around Artist Alley with her boyfriend Nate and they purchased some simplified um, minimalist posters and it was like $5 each or 3 for 10 and so they got a Firefly one for Carrie and a Spider-Man one for Nate and then when they were thinking about something else that they wanted they couldn't really decide and then they saw this one and they got it for 
for me and it's so beautiful and I love it so much and I'm so just Carrie you spoiled me this weekend thank you so much and then the last set of prints that I got were from Geek Fuel for her website Brody and I actually interviewed the subscription box Denver based nerd fun fuel stuff Geek Fuel and we both saw this print and loved it so much that they gave us one and it was so kind of them a brief history of time travel I really really enjoy it it's a little bit destroyed from being so big at the con but that's okay and then I also got this one which I haven't actually I don't I don't know what this is <laughs> I was like, oh, it's a plane. Right, the cockpit. Inside, it is a little stormtrooper. If you want it, let me know. I probably won't keep it because it doesn't really fit with my own collective aesthetic, but I do love the little surprise stormtrooper. That's fun. And then the last little freebie that we got from Geek Fuel was this adorable card of Frodo or Bildo. Not really positive because they look so similar with Schmeagol slash Gloop and inside it says i hope you get something precious this year i actually have an idea of who i would like to give it to but i'm not going to say much more than that and then finally when i got home from comic-con the next day i saw one of my roommates he actually got a first edition copy of dune which is awesome go him and then when he was talking to a lady she handed over this book a gentleman takes a chance by sarah a point i had no idea what it was about but she gave it to him and she asked if I would read it. It is actually also signed as this changing kind of creatures who live amongst us in the real world. And then on the inside cover, it says it's the sequel to Draw One in the Dark, which I had never heard of either, but I do plan on reading this eventually. And I think I'm going to read it as a book too and say if it like is confusing or if it's a good solid book too in a series where you can just like jump in anywhere. I'm really kind of curious about it, but you know, fantasy that uh, lives alongside us in the real world is a fun one. And yeah, free book, so we need it. And that is my Denver Comic Con haul of fun goodies. So that is exciting. Uh, we're going to Ikea this weekend so that I can buy another bookshelf and get some more prints and frames. I'm officially in the process of moving into the room right behind this wall. And once it's completely set up, I will definitely be filming more videos. I'm trying to film them on a more regular basis to get back onto my schedule of either Sunday or Monday videos. So thank you guys so much for returning after my little surprise hiatus. And and until my next video, DFTBA. Hello, Internet, and welcome to my new backyard. There's a dog.